Hey guys, so in this video, I'm taking you step by step through creating a Roth IRA retirement account. If there's one piece of advice I'd give for new investors, it would be to create a Roth IRA as soon as possible. Make sure to watch until the end as this video will change your life if you take action using the info that I give you. It's actually a pretty simple process and you guys can get started right after watching. But yeah, to sort of outline this video in the first section, we're going to explain what a Roth IRA is and who qualifies for one. Then I will walk you through creating a Roth IRA account using one of my favorite platforms M1 Finance. So first up, let's explain what a Roth IRA is. Basically, a Roth IRA is a retirement savings account that lets you invest post-tax money and pay zero taxes on any gains in the future. So yeah, once you're 59 and a half years old, you can withdraw your earnings without paying any taxes on them. And that, you guys, is like a superpower. It is a general principle that anyone who starts a Roth IRA early on, let's say in your 20s, will become a millionaire by the time that they're 60. In fact, you'll probably have a lot more than a million bucks by that age if you contribute $6,000 per year. And trust me, a million bucks in a Roth IRA is a whole lot better than a million bucks in a traditional stock account or even a 401k. And that's essentially because you're paying no taxes on those gains. As of 2021, you can contribute $6,000 per year. If you divide that by 365 days per year, that comes out to about $16.44 per day or $500 per month. Now as an ad bonus, if you are 50 or older, you can contribute $7,000 per year. And another thing is you have until April 15th to contribute for the previous tax year. That means that until April 15th of this year, I can contribute to last year's Roth IRA in addition to this year's. Now for single filers in 2021, you can only contribute the full $6,000 if you make under $125,000 per year. Now the average American makes about $60,000 per year, so most will qualify. This contribution limit prorates down as you make more and more and once you pass $140,000 in annual income, you can't technically contribute directly to a Roth IRA. Now for married filers, you get to contribute the max amount making $198,000 or less and this is prorated up to $208,000. But even if you make more than that, you can still use a Roth IRA. This is basically called a backdoor Roth and it's very simple to do. You're basically contributing to a traditional IRA which allows you to defer taxes, then you transfer or roll over the funds to a Roth IRA and pay taxes. This makes sense to do if you think you'll be making more money in the future or if you think your tax rates will go up. You can withdraw your contributions, that's $6,000 per year, whenever you want to. And there is no penalty for doing that. But if you want to take out your profit and earnings before you're 59 and a half, then there will be a 10% penalty fee and you will pay tax, which totally defeats the purpose of this Roth IRA account and makes it complete trash. So definitely don't do that. And now this is the fun part, you guys. I'm going to show you guys how how to do it and it literally takes under 15 minutes. So first you'll want to choose a brokerage that you want to open up your Roth IRA with. There are a lot that you can choose like M1 Finance, Vanguard, Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, and a lot more. I'm going to show you guys how simple it is to open up a Roth IRA using one of my favorite platforms, M1 Finance. This is an amazing platform that has no fees, is super easy to open up, and has a great interface on both a computer and on your phone. So here we have the M1 Finance home screen. We're just going to go up to the top and click get started. Here you're going to enter in your email as well as your password and click sign up now. Then it's going to have you confirm your email address. After you do that, you'll be allowed to create a Pi, open your account, and fund your account. So we click continue, and this is where you create your Pi, which is where you choose what stocks you want to invest in. I'm going to skip this part for now and do it later on. Next, they'll have you verify your phone number and they will send you a code for that. Then you will enter in some personal information like your name and your address. Then they'll ask you a few questions about your investing experience as well as some other stuff about you. And then they will have you enter in your social security number, which is required for any brokerage. A few more questions that they'll ask you. They'll say, does everything look okay? And then you'll click confirm. Now this is where you can fund your account and put money into it. So what I'm gonna show you guys is how you can connect instantly using Plaid. This is a really secure way of doing it and that's how I did it. So you'll click that button, then you'll click continue and here you can select your bank. So for me, Bank of America. After you enter in your credentials and log in, you can set the amount you want to put in and then you click continue. So now that we've signed up for an account using a computer, I'm gonna actually take you guys through the M1 app on my phone and walk you guys through these steps of creating your Roth IRA account. So I'm here in my account and right now I'm gonna click on add account on the left. Here it's gonna let you select an account type and you can see that we can select an individual investing account which is actually what I already have, a joint investing account. This is if you have a partner, a retirement account. So if you wanna do a traditional, a Roth or a SEP IRA, you can also do a trust account and you can do a custodial account if you are a minor. So if you are under 18 and you do want to invest, 
this could be a good option for you. But we're setting up a Roth IRA, so I'm gonna click retirement. Then we're gonna choose which one we want. So like I said before, we're doing a Roth IRA for this one. It's gonna have you review and accept the terms and conditions. So you can take a look at those if you want to, and then you'll click confirm on the bottom. So now this is the cool part about M1 Finance. This is where you can create your own pies and you can just look through different stocks and ETFs and stuff like that and do a lot of research on them. So I'm gonna click on browse my pies and here it's gonna show you some of the pies that I've made before, but let's actually make a new one. Um, and you can go up here to the top left, you have stocks. So this is if you want to invest in individual companies such as Apple, Microsoft, Amazon. Uh, you can click on funds if you want to invest in more in uh, index funds, and I'm definitely gonna do that. And then um, expert pies, these are things that are pre-made and you can just sort of uh, go through them and see what works for you. For example, this is a really interesting one. Let's say you're really into hedge funds. You can click on hedge fund followers right here and it can sort of mimic the investment strategies of some of the most successful investors and reputable hedge funds. So if I click that, then I can look at all these different hedge funds. Um, let's see, let's go with Berkshire Hathaway because that is a very well-known one. Click on that. Um, it's gonna give you some information about this pie. So it's seeking to replicate the Berkshire Hathaway um, fund. Um, it has 23 different companies or holdings in, in it. 0% um, expense ratio, which is great. Dividend yield of 1.67%. It'll give you the risk and it'll give you the one, three and five year returns. Now, if I want to see the actual holdings in this, I can click targets and this is going to show me all of the different holdings in this uh, pie. So top one is Apple, then we have Bank of America, Coca-Cola, Amex, Kraft Heinz. Okay, nice, nice. So yeah, if I like this, I can go back and I can click add to pie right there and it's gonna add it to my pie. Now instead of doing that, I'm gonna actually choose some myself just to show you guys what the whole process is like. I'm gonna start with some stocks. I really like Apple right now, so I'm gonna go to stocks and click Apple. This is gonna give you some information about Apple as a company, the current price, um, the market cap, P ratio, and dividend amounts. This is also great because it shows you the current news, which is very, very important if you're trying to follow individual companies. It'll give you the price history, so the 52-week range. Um, it's gonna give you the one, two, and five-year returns and the profiles so just information about Apple as a company. So if I like what I see, I'm gonna click add to pie right here and it's gonna add it to my pie and I'll change the ratios later on. So now if we go back to stocks, you'll see that there's a little check mark next to Apple. That means that I have already put it into my pie. Another company that I do wanna put into my pie is Tesla. So I'm gonna click Tesla right here. Again, it's gonna show me all this information about Tesla. And if I do want to um, buy it, I'm gonna click add to pie. Going back out, now I have two individual stocks in this particular pie. I wanna add some ETFs. So now I'm here in funds and I'm just gonna go with my fan favorite and that's VOO by Vanguard. Um, this is an index fund that tracks the S&P 500. So about 500 companies that are in the S&P 500. These are huge companies. Um, I can look at all the information if I want but I'm just gonna click add to pie right here. I know VO has around 500 companies, but if you want something that's even more than that, you can click on VTI. This is another fan favorite. And you can see that this one has 3,639 different holdings in it. So extremely, extremely diversified. So I'm gonna add that to my pie. And it seems like we have four things in here now. So I'm gonna click done. Now this is the fun part. You can actually get to choose what ratio you want for each of these companies or ETFs. Now I'm gonna play a little bit safe for this one because I'm holding it for a long time. A Roth IRA is something that, you know, you're not gonna be cashing out anytime soon. So that's why I prefer more diversified funds in a Roth IRA. So for VOO, that's probably my favorite one. So I'm gonna click this and bring it up to, let's say, 50% of this pie. VTI, I'm gonna change it down a little bit just to let's say 20%. And then for Apple and Tesla, I have to make this add up to 100%. Right now it is at 120%. So let's move down Apple to let's say 20%. Um, actually, let's bring that down to 15%. And then Tesla, I'm gonna bring that down until we hit 100. Bam, so now we're investing 15% in Apple 15% in Tesla, 50% in VOO, and then 20% in VTI. The really, really amazing part about M1 Finance is that it allows you to invest 
in partial shares. So it really does not matter what the stock price is. You know, like let's say you guys want to invest in Alphabet, that costs thousands of dollars per share. And a lot of people just don't have that money laying around to buy one complete share. So with something like this, they allow you to purchase partial shares and that allows you to get into these companies where their share prices are quite high but you still want to invest in them okay now that i have this done with my pie i'm going to click save and it's going to create that pie for me. So now I'm gonna finish setting up the account, the Roth IRA account. It's gonna have me connect my bank. Now what I recommend doing here is just clicking connect instantly. Um, and I have already connected my bank accounts with this, but if you guys want to add a new bank, you click on that and it will connect you with Plaid. Um, you'll click continue and then you can log into whatever bank you use. Now, like I said, I have already done this, so I'm just gonna connect it with my previous one. And then here's where I can make my initial deposit. So I'm gonna click deposit right here. And here it's gonna ask you for the contribution year. So I can either choose current year or I can choose to contribute to the previous year. So whichever one you want to do. It does remind you again that the contribution limit for 2021 is $6,000 or $7,000 if you're age 50 or older. So now I'm gonna click continue right here. Check to make sure everything is right here. And then I'm gonna set the amount that I want to contribute. So right now, I'm just gonna put in $1,000. You guys can choose to put in anything from $500 to probably $6,000. But yeah, for now, I'm just gonna do 1,000. So I'm gonna type that in right here, click continue. I'm then gonna click transfer, and then I'm gonna click confirm transfer. So then after the account is funded, you'll probably have to wait a day or two for the bank to actually transfer over the money. And then after that money is in your account, you can click manage pie, you can click buy, and then you set the buy amount. So whatever it is, continue, click continue again, and then you click confirm buy here. And now let's talk about why the Roth IRA is so good. So this is a tax advantage account that the government is giving us as a benefit. It hugely favors us and that is why everyone should have one. Now a lot of people, they just don't have one and that really blows my mind. It's like as if the government was like, hey, have this special retirement account that we are letting you store your money in where you don't have to pay insane amounts of tax later on. And that means tons more money in your own pocket. And then you're like, Nah, I'm good. So definitely take that free cookie. The government wants you to retire comfortably and that is one of the best ways to make money and not have to pay tax on it. Another great benefit is that there is no required minimum distribution. What that means is that you can leave your money in for as long as you want. For a traditional IRA and a 401k, you must start taking money out at a certain age. So then how are you able to, let's say, put in $200,000 and have it grow to $1 million or more? That, you guys, is the power of compound interest. This is a phenomenon where your money grows at an exponential rate the longer you keep it invested. That's why it's so important to start a Roth IRA as soon as you can. So let's say you're 25 years old right now. You invest $6,000 a year for 35 years. That's $210,000 of total contributions that you're putting in. Now, does that mean that you're only gonna have $210,000 after those 35 years? Definitely not because we are investing it in index funds, stocks, bonds, whatever else you want. And these things are investments, meaning that they grow with time. I do want to remind you guys that the Roth IRA is just an investment vehicle. It's just an account. It's not an actual investment in itself. So you do need to choose to invest in whatever stocks or index funds that you want to invest in. I know a lot of people, they accidentally set up a Roth IRA, they put the money in, but then they forget to actually buy investments. If your money is just sitting inside your Roth IRA account without you actually using that money to purchase investments, then that's definitely not good. You wanna have all your money that you put into this account invested in the market. Now these are long-term holdings, so they can go up or down in a given year. As you can see from the historical data, some years it can go down a lot, like 23%. And you just have to be really careful because that doesn't mean that you should freak out and just offload all your shares. On the other hand, some years it's gonna go up a lot. For example, in 2013, when it went up 29.6%, so yeah, we just need to really focus on the long-term growth, just continually put money in, and really don't try and time the market by buying when you think it's low and selling when you think things are high. I really hope you guys learned something from this video, and this is something that you can literally do right after this video ends. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel to see more content just like this. I make a ton of videos about personal finance, investing, and entrepreneurship. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.